Winter Fire, Christmas with G.K. Chesterton, is in essence Ryan Smith's plea for, argument in defense of, and celebration of the Christian Christmas spirit. Typically, you can divide Christmas books into one of two categories, either Christian or secular. The Christian books are about the meaning of the season, why Jesus came, the hope of his return. It is about the reason for the season, God sending his son Jesus to this world. While secular books are about the Christmas spirit, the wonder of Santa Claus, the recipes that our families love to share, the presents, the lights, and the smells of Christmas. And Ryan Smith calls on G.K. Chesterton as his ally to bring the meaning of Christmas in Christ together with the spirit of Christmas that our society knows and loves so well. G.K. Chesterton was a man who loved the Christmas spirit and believed the Christmas spirit was not in any way secular, but every aspect of it, even Santa Claus himself, all of it points us toward the real meaning of the season in Christ. So Chesterton sought to encourage his readers back in his own day to enjoy every aspect of the Christmas spirit in order to worship Christ, who is the meaning for this season. And in some way, this makes Winterfire, Christmas with G.K. Chesterton by Ryan Whitaker Smith, just about the perfect Christmas book. There's so much I like about this book that brings together Christian Christmas with the Christian spirit. I love Chesterton's love for Christmas, and this review really could be nothing more than a list of bullet points to cover all the things that I loved about this book. But let me tell you about my favorite parts of Winter Fire. Welcome to Rev Reads. If you want to discover more books that will help you to find the joy in the Christmas season, please subscribe to the channel in order to stay up to date to my most current reviews. Also, please like, share this video with as many people as possible to help them know about Winter Fire. And I want to say thank you to the Buy Me A Coffee members who support this channel and allow me to cover the costs that come with keeping up with Rev Reads in order to pr produce new reviews. And I would love for you to consider supporting the channel at only $3. A month. So for this review, I'm just going to go over all the things I love about the book. And the first thing I love about this book is the way it looks. This is a book that is worthy of being a Christmas gift. Just look at the book, at the cover. It is a beautiful cover. And then it has illustrations all throughout the book that are just wonderful. Uh, this is one of those books that just the, the look of it throughout is just wonderful in and of itself all alone just you know great illustrations spotted throughout the book in fact the only reason that this book might not make a good christmas present for someone is if they didn't like christmas at all or it might not be a good christmas present for them if you get it for them on christmas day because if somebody gets this on christmas day they're gonna think i wish i had this all through december so maybe give this one as an early christmas gift the second thing I love about this book is the format. This book is 30 daily readings on Christmas for the month of December, followed by a collection of poems, essays, and short stories by Chesterton. And then help you to get into the same Christmas joy as the jolly GK himself, there are old Christmas recipes along with games and traditions from England in the days of the late 19th and early 20th century. That format for the book is just so great. The third thing I love about this book is how stuffed the book is. This book is like a Christmas stocking where you keep pulling out more goodies as you go through the book. I thought this book was simply 30 daily readings for the month of December. But as you unpack the book and go throughout the entire thing, you kind of feel like Mary Poppins with her traveling bag, where just more and more things are revealed. As I said in the format of this book, covering the format of this book, there is just so much in Winter Fire, a book that, that admittedly isn't that long, that will help put you in the classic Christmas spirit. The fourth thing I love about this book is how Ryan Smith won me over. 
So let me just admit, uh, so I got this book expecting to find 30 daily readings that were collected from the writings of G.K. Chesterton. And when I got this book, I thought that Ryan Smith was really nothing more than the editor who pulled together all of Chesterton's work. And then I started on the first day's reading, and it begins with, and this is the format for all of the daily readings, you have a paragraph of Chesterton's works. And then it's followed with two pages of writings by Ryan Smith. And then you have a scripture reading and then some reflection questions for you to think about throughout the day. So this would also make this book really good for a book club for the month of December, by the way. But when I got started into day one, and I was reading it and realized that in the daily readings, there's more of Ryan Smith's writings than there are of Chesterton's. I first thought, this is a ripoff. I wanted G.K. Chesterton, not this Ryan Whitaker Smith. And one thing that actually bothered me when I first pulled this book out of the box when I got it in the mail was that it is Smith's name that is here on the spine of the book. I wanted Chesterton's name right on the spine. And I was thinking, that's a bold move, Ryan, to put your name right on the spine of this book when all you did was gather together the writings of G.K. Chesterton. Well, as much as this book is Christmas with G.K. Chesterton, this book is really more about a conversation with you, Chesterton, and Ryan. And I gotta say, Ryan Smith, you won me over. I really enjoyed his commentary on Chesterton's writings. He really helps the reader chew through some of Chesterton's more profound or thought-provoking takes on Christmas. In my eyes, he more than earned his name on the spine of this book. And if you were to say, well, I think I'm going to pass on this book if it is more Ryan Smith than G.K. Chesterton, to you I say, dear reader, do not fear, because the poems, the short stories, and the essays of Chesterton are all found in this book in its entirety. So following the daily readings, which are a collection of Chesterton with Smith, you have complete poems, short stories, and essays by G.K. Chesterton on Christmas. So it's all here. The fifth thing I loved about this book, and I, I saved this one for last because this is the best reason to love Winterfire, and that is I, I just couldn't get enough of G.K. Chesterton's unique takes on Christmas. Especially what comes out is his love for the entire Christmas season. And he had this ability to take parts about the Christmas season that will assuredly annoy and frustrate people. And he'll call on you to take a second look at it and find Christ, find joy in those things. A couple of examples. One day's reading is a defense of Christmas presents. To those who want Christmas to be contemplative, maybe even a somber holiday, get rid of all those presents and gifts that distract everyone and overshadow the love of Christ and the reason for why he came, maybe you should think twice about wanting to get rid of Christmas presents. Because Christmas is all about a present. It's all about the greatest present. The greatest present who is Jesus himself. We need to remember that the present of Jesus wasn't lessons on love, it wasn't thoughts on charity, but Jesus was a flesh and blood baby. Jesus was a tangible gift who was held in his mother's eyes, gazed upon by shepherds, and unwrapping physical gifts points us toward the real world, tangible, physical gift of Jesus. Jesus did not come as a spiritual lesson on how to be a better person, but he is a real person who wants to be received by faith. And don't forget about those magi as well. The magi came to Jesus and they didn't bring long meditations, somber prayers, and theologically rich songs. They gave gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They gave real world gifts that were costly and, dare I say, extravagant. And without the physical gift of Jesus, and then the physical gifts of the Magi, which probably funded an escape trip to Egypt, there would be no Christmas at all. Second, he brings out the idea of being jolly at Christmas. 
Now, Jolly, to be frank, sounds a little silly. Jolly is for Christmas movies. Jolly is for Santa Claus and his belly of jelly. It's for kids. But Jolly should be the Christmas spirit for all Christians. In fact, the more mature we become in the faith, the more jolly we should become. Why? Because we are people filled with the joy of the Lord, and we are the people who have the real reason to be jolly in this season. Now, the world tries to be jolly because they get more stuff, they listen to catchy music, they hang out with their family, they eat rich food. But we can be jolly because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And that's better than the stuff and the music and the family and the food. And even if those are all gone and we don't have them this season, we can still find to be, find the strength to be jolly even in our lack because we have the life of Jesus in us. And another thing about being jolly is that being jolly is kind of humbling. It is the humble person who doesn't think highly of himself who is willing and able to be jolly. Your willingness to get on the floor with the kids, to play the Christmas games, to sing at your neighbor's front door, even when you look a little ridiculous, the person who has a jolly spirit also has a humble spirit. Winterfire, Christmas with G.K. Chesterton, is just filled with calls to look at Christmas again and again and to find Jesus Christ in all of it to redeem every part for the glory of God. Chesterton even loved that Christianity took over the pagan holiday of the winter solstice because Christ ultimately is going to make all things new, even the holidays. And Christmas is a great taste of what is yet to come. So I loved Chesterton's wit. I loved Ryan's commentary, the beauty of the printing, all the extra goodies. So if you know someone who loves Christmas, who would especially love to know about the Christmas traditions in early 20th century England, and someone who wants to find Jesus Christ in every part of the season, Winter Fire by Ryan Smith would make the perfect Thanksgiving Day gift so they can enjoy it throughout the Christmas season.